they shall grow old, as we that are left grow old. Age shall not wear them, nor the years of death. At the going down of the sun, and in the morning, we will remember them. Very, very, very poignant there. The minute silence, of course, impeccably observed. Well, good evening, everybody. Welcome to Lightning TV here at the Milton Keynes Ice Arena. So Saturday night is hockey night down here in Milton Keynes. And tonight, the visitors, of course, to the arena are Coventry Blaze. Now, these two teams battled it out in Coventry just last Sunday night. It all got a little bit feisty. In fact, the referee asked the teams not to shake hands at the end of the game. We're expecting a real fiery night this evening. Great. Great acquisition, the uh, the captain, of course, for Lightning. And King once again with possession. Dawson gets a short backhand. That beats Nastriuk. But Kevin King did the hard work. Passes straight in for Ludwig Carlson. It's the backhand. The beats Nastriuk. Lightning go one up. think if the officials maybe policed them rigidly in the first place we wouldn't have had the problem but there you go who am I to say now that's a goal <laughs> I have no idea that looks like Kearney who scored that I'm waiting for the puck to come out the other side it looked like it was going right very across the face of the goal but actually it could be to set in a nuisance of himself in front of Mika Vigman then and still Coventry retain possession in this zone Ballaran, backhand, great goal. Great goal, made by Mark andre Valorand. Okay, Coventry looking to make something of this, and they score. Just a few seconds into that power play, Coventry pull level. Pompey now, backhands that, doesn't quite get where he needs it to go. The shot comes in. Vigman was there with the left hand pad. Valoran now. Great pass back. And, and that's another goal. That's the third goal. Valoran to Kashane. And then the final shot comes in. Carlson once again. King, melee. Couldn't quite get the shot off. Let's have his Maurice. That's the goal! Kevin King! Carl Hudson feeds it from the right hand side and Lightning reply is 3 3 within just a minute or so of that go ahead goal from Blaze. Move his puck around quickly. Kashane finds space. 
Anilov there in space. Couldn't quite get anything done there. Anilov will wait for that puck again. Taps his stick expectantly on the ice. Kashane once again. Another shot comes in on Vigman. Gets the tip. Behind Vigman. And Blaze go 4 3 up. So here go lining once again. Kevin King. And he scores straight away. What a game this is! Kevin King picks it up. One time. Goal. So commentary now in possession. This is where Lightning really have to be careful because they've gifted a couple of overtime goals already this season. And you know, maybe. And the, the puck has stopped on the eye. Now the puck bobbled right the way through. Vickman went underneath him, stopped on the line. Now, referee Darnell was right there. He waved it off straight away. You'll see it as he comes through. You see it just bobble out there, just stays on the line. Vickman just grabs that. The move at pace, and once again, they break. And that'll be Paul Phillips up the right hand side. He's got Denny Kearney for support. Paul Phillips scores and wins the goal! Wins the game! For Milton Keynes Lightning, coast to coast. One minute 27 remaining in overtime. Paul Phillips picks up the puck in his own zone, skates full length of the ice. Well, hi everybody, welcome to Lightning TV. Now, tonight was a great night. Lightning winning this game in overtime over Coventry Blaze, of course. And I'm here with the guy that scored the game winning goal, Paul Phillips. Paul, that was an uh, intense game. You, you went ahead early. Coventry pegged you back and it, then it was just end to end every time they scored you scored yeah it was uh, a great response um, especially when they scored that fourth goal for Kinger and uh, Tommy off the face off there Kinger ripped a shot and that kind of shows a lot of character for our team and uh, that's kind of been what we've been about all year unfortunately sometimes we go down uh, with bad play but it shows character coming back and answering the call so it was a great win for us to get the two points in overtime it shows how desperately you'd need everybody on the ice. I mean, Tommy took the 10-minute the, the misconduct penalty, and obviously you missed him in that 10 minutes because Coventry were really putting the pressure on, and you're on the back foot a little bit. He comes back out, and lo and behold, you go and score a goal. Yeah, exactly. That, uh, in a game like this, you need everybody, and uh, especially a player like Tommy. So he took the penalty, but r right afterwards, uh, he came out, played hard, and uh, we got that fourth goal. And I think everybody knew once we scored that fourth goal, we were going to win the game. So it was... Uh, it was a very good game for us. Great win for us. Great character win. I was talking to Monty Panatar a little while ago, and uh, he's claiming credit for the win because apparently he says he gave you the team talk and got you all fired up. Yeah, he gave us a speech. He said uh, we weren't very good last week, and, and he was right. So uh, he gave us that speech in practice, and I think we showed him a good game. Now, a couple of weeks ago, you got your 100th point in the Elite Ice Hockey League, and then tonight you go and pick up the puck. You go literally coast to coast. You bang in the overtime winner. And you could see just how much that meant to you when that goal went in. Yeah, it was uh, kind of a tough game for me, a tough game uh, for the team, a lot of emotion and stuff. So it felt pretty good uh, getting that overtime winner. And it was a great game by Coventry. Give them a lot of credit. But uh, like I said, we just talked in the locker room. It's a great character win for us. And we're looking to bring that into Manchester tomorrow. We haven't had very good showings in Manchester the past two times. So, and they're a very good team as well, well coached. Um, so. We're looking to, uh, we're going to enjoy this tonight, but tomorrow it's all business and as we uh, head up north. Brilliant. We'll have a great game on the road tomorrow. Of course, it's Guildford on uh, Wednesday night, 7.45 back here at, at our barn. But for now, thanks for talking to us. Definitely. Thank you very much.